This was filmed with a $700 camera and this was filmed with a $15 webcam. Which do you think looks much better and more professional? Number one. The first one for sure bro, what do you mean? I asked others about their opinions without telling them which camera is more expensive and the $15 webcam won. And I agree, it just looks so much better. Now there's no doubt though that the $700 camera over here is a better quality camera than the webcam I'm using right now. But why doesn't it look better? The difference between the two clips is the lighting. Each camera has a lens. The smaller the lens, the lesser the light it can pick up. So smaller lens cameras often has no choice but to use higher ISO or exposure to increase the light. The problem there is it makes the video more noisier and lower quality. Higher ISO exposure equals to lower quality. Okay, so we just have to turn down our ISO and exposure. That's it, right? Yes, but now your videos will be too dark, especially if you're in a dark area. But don't worry, that's where the power of light comes in. With good lighting, we can achieve better looking videos and can even make our camera look much more expensive than it actually is. Investing in a good camera can of course make your videos look much better, but maybe it's not a better camera that you need. Maybe it's better lighting. You see, cameras can get very expensive and same with lighting equipment, but there's definitely more cheap and easy ways to get better lighting compared to getting a better camera. You can even get free light from your windows. Which is what I actually used in a lot of my videos, my, the sunlight outside. But recently I invested in some lighting equipment. I got the... I got the Zion Molus X100 with the Triopo 55cm softbox. Look at this guy bro. What? Will definitely help light up my videos. And I also decided to use one of these cheap ring lights I had lying around as a fill light to light my dark spots over here. And that's pretty much my lighting setup so far. I might add a little bit more in the background like you see this wall. I might add a neon sign over there with something that represents the channel and me. It'll have an amazing effect like a background lighting or something like that. But you don't need a lot of this lighting equipment. I just decided to because window light or sunlight can... When it goes to nighttime, you cannot like... There's no more window light. There's no more sunlight. But yeah, I wish I knew this before I got an expensive camera that... It's not just about the camera, you know? Like the light plays a huge role in the quality of your videos. So maybe instead of spending like a lot of money in a camera, Maybe you already have a good camera, you just don't have good lighting. Or maybe instead of investing all of the money in a good camera and letting yourself down because you're not getting the good quality, maybe you should invest a little bit as well on the lighting equipment and cut down on the expensive camera. If you already have good lighting, then sure, why not go for a good camera? There's, there's nothing wrong there. But yeah, if I knew this before I bought my first camera, I would have probably spent a little bit more investment as well on the lighting and not just my camera but yeah before i actually i think i have it here i got this old second hand gopro hero 5 and i thought it'll be a good upgrade from my phone camera to that camera but after i filmed with this camera my expectations kind of wasn't met but i don't think that's entirely because of the camera i'm pretty sure it's also because of my lighting i had such not good lighting and i would just boost the iso up and i would blame the camera that why doesn't it look good maybe that's it <laughs> maybe i need to get myself an actual dslr mirrorless this more higher quality cameras but after getting this camera yeah my videos definitely got higher quality but whenever i filmed in dark spots that's where i noticed that cameras really perform bad in dark areas so yeah i wish i knew that lighting is such a big factor for making good quality videos 
But yeah, so far I've been really enjoying and liking my new lighting equipment that I got. It's been an amazing experience seeing my video qualities go higher. Like I didn't know I can film a video this high quality with this $15 camera that I had. I've been using this webcam for 3 years now. And who would have thought I can get a good quality video like this. So yeah, maybe you already have a good camera like this but you're like oh i need to get better lens oh, i need to get better this that this and bro lenses camera lenses are very expensive i i tried searching for them because i thought you know it will definitely make my videos look better and with probably a, a bigger lens i can shoot better in low light but still you can probably get good light for less than half the price of that new lens you know, there's definitely nothing wrong investing in a good lens if, you, if you're really gonna shoot in low light. But yeah, I just wish I knew how important light is when it comes to making good quality videos. Anyways, some of you probably already know the things that I talked about in this video, why lighting is so good. But yeah, for those that are first time buying a new camera or, or you're looking to upgrade your new camera, or if you're like me, I thought a better camera is what I needed to fix the quality of my videos. But yeah, I just wish I knew this, how good your camera can look with a good lighting setup. But anyways, I pray and hope that you enjoyed and learned something from this video. I would really appreciate if you hit the like button and the subscribe button down below. If you have any comments or questions or suggestions, feel free to comment down below. I'll try to respond to as much of you as possible. But yeah, I'll go ahead and see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to stay grateful and remember that Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.